Hello everyone, Frank here. I'm glad that you're here. This video, I'm going to talk about running a Microsoft Teams meeting on an iOS device. So I'm going to show you how Teams meetings work on an iPad and an iPhone. I'll show you how you can go in and share different things from both those platforms and some of the limitations we have and some of the benefits we have as well. Let's go have a look. One of the most common questions I've been getting lately is around how can I do a Microsoft Teams meeting using a mobile device such as an iPhone or an iPad. Now I have done a few videos on this channel where I talk about Teams on a mobile device as well as using things like Microsoft Whiteboard on a mobile device. But in this video, I wanna go through and show you a complete end-to-end -end solution here. So here I have my iPad. So I have my iPad over here and here I have my phone. So I'm gonna start off with the phone and one of the things you wanna make sure with all of your mobile devices is you wanna go in and make sure that your do not disturb is turned on. And this is just so if you get a text message or a phone call, that'll be uh, your do not disturb will be turned on. So that won't get caught up in any recordings of the meeting and it won't show up in any of the meetings. I'm going to show you how I can record the meeting within our mobile experience here. So I'm gonna go into Microsoft Teams. So here I am in Teams and I'm gonna to go to my outdoor adventure club. I'm gonna to go to hikes. And I wanna start a new meeting underneath hikes. So you can see at the top corner here, I actually have a a meeting to a starter here. So if I click this little button, I can start a meeting. So let's go ahead and click on start the meeting. So I'll create a new meeting in here. And so I'm gonna start a new meeting and you'll notice that up here, I actually have a ability to turn the blurred background on or off. And right now my video is off and my microphone is off. So let's turn my video on. Hello everybody, how are you? And I'm gonna turn on that blurred background now. And you can see that just blurs my background. And I think this is really useful, especially if I'm actually in a mobile environment like a cafe. Right now uh, it's 2021, so a lot of us aren't outside of our basements. But if I am outside or with a group of people, I might wanna blur the background just to you know, not have that there. Again, I can take that blur off or I can actually go in and turn the video off altogether, which in this demonstration, for the most part, I'll have the video turned off. I have the microphone turned off just so I don't get audio feedback here as well. And now I'm gonna go in and if I start the meeting, I'll just click on the drop down menu. I can start it with audio off or I can join and add a room into the meeting, but I'm just gonna start the meeting and we now have a meeting starting in my channel underneath hikes. And you can see that the meeting is here. So I can go in and add participants in there. I can share a meeting invite with people. Um, what I'll do is let's have a couple of people join the meeting here. They'll go to their teams and we'll get a few people here into the meeting. So a number of people have already joined the meeting here. You can see them on my iPhone. Let's go ahead and join up on my iPad as well. So I'm just going to grab my iPad here and we'll join into this meeting. I'm here as Arthur Curry. We'll see into hikes and we see there's a meeting. So let's join that meeting. And again, um, I can put the background on there. It's just me again, but uh, put the webcam on. It's just me again. So I'll turn the webcam off and we'll join that meeting. And now Arthur's joined into the meeting as well. Now there was some feedback there and that's because I had the microphone turned on for Arthur. I've just uh, muted all of the microphones so that uh, everybody can hear me, but there's not going to be any feedback happening. So here I am, I've got a meeting and I can now control it from any of these environments. So I've, I'm on my iPhone, that's where I started the meeting. So I'm on it with, as myself on the iPhone here. And I'm gonna do a few things here. You'll notice again, we have uh, webcam, audio, iPhone audio, and then if I come in here, and so microphone and webcam, and then listening through the speaker of the iPhone, you could also, of course, go to your phone here, and you could go in and, and make that so that you had to hold the phone up to your ear, or if you have Bluetooth devices, you can go to them. If I go into the ellipse here, this gives me a menu of a number of different things I can do. So notice I can start recording the meeting, so let's just start recording the meeting. And uh, you'll notice that it's being recorded. It's going to let everybody know on their computer that the meeting is being recorded. So you can see up here on my iPad, I've started recording. So I know that the meeting started to be recorded. If I go in there at the ellipse, I can turn it off, but we'll let that run for the remainder of this demo. I can turn on live captions. So now when I'm speaking, everybody can see what I'm saying. And this is a very helpful tool, especially if I'm in a bit of a noisier environment. So now I've got on there, 
uh, the live captioning. So we'll just uh, have that come in effect. Make sure I've turned that on. And you can turn off live captioning as well. So the reason we're not seeing that is because, of course, I don't have my microphone on for the phone. So now if I start, so if I start talking, talking, I'll get a little bit of feedback, bit of feedback because the computers are near me. But you can see that live captioning is happening. So I just turned off the microphone, which of course will stop the live captioning from being captured. So I'll go into the ellipse here. I can put myself on hold and then return to the meeting. I can, um, I can share this out. So if I go into share, you'll notice that I have a number of different options. I can share PowerPoints that are on my phone. In this case, I'm on my phone. I can share a photo from my phone. I could share a video. Now, when I share a video, this is not a stored video, such as a video that's, in, you know, if I go into share video, it's just going to go into, well, there's, there's the cables on the back of my uh, computer there. So I can go in there, I can share a photo out, I can go into files and share that out. But it's not the same as sharing out, say, a YouTube video, which is a question I often get. And hold on for a second, I'll show you where that is. I can raise my hand. So you can see that I've raised my hand and then participants in the meeting will see that I raised my hand. It was briefly there. And you can see that on my icon here, I should go out of here, that Frank has his hand raised. And if I look over here on the iPad, Frank has his hand raised. So that's, that's raising my hand, make sure I lower it. And then if I go into the ellipse here, I can go to the dial pad if I need to dial in numbers. I can start the video with blur. I already talked about that. I can turn off incoming videos, which can save a little bit of bandwidth. That's usually not a concern. Um, and I can even change the layout. So if I go to change out the layout here, I can go into together mode. Now, because I'm not using a webcam here, my together mode's not terribly exciting because I don't have any webcams running. But this will allow me to see all of the different participants in that together mode where they're you know, in sort of an auditorium here and I can see them in a little bit of a different orientation there. But in my case, I'm just gonna turn off the together mode because I'm just using the gallery icons. So that's an example of, of running the meeting and showing the meeting here. Now, big things here, if I go into the sharing again, when I go into sharing, I can also share my screen. And when I share my screen, this is where it's talking a little bit here about everything, including notifications will be recorded. And that's why I put it into do not disturb. So now I'm actually broadcasting from this device. Okay. So we're going to go in here and there's a few things, few restrictions that may occur if you're like in the car and such. So we'll go in there. I'm going to start the uh, screen broadcast. And in this case here, you'll notice that screen mirroring is active. So I'm not going to be able to share because I would then be broadcasting out my screen on my computer. So it's kind of a tricky little thing there, but you'll see that in order to start the broadcast, you have to be disconnected from things such as your computer. So I'm just going to disconnect my phone. Okay, so I've disconnected my phone, so I'm no longer doing any type of screen mirroring. And on my phone, I'm going to start the broadcast. And you'll notice on my iPad, it's going to show that I am Frank, I'm now working with a broadcast. And now everything on my phone here is going to be broadcast to my team. So here I am, I'm on my iPhone here. So I could go in and let's say, for example, I wanted to share out a web page. I could simply go to my browser and I could start showing a web page. These are stamp collecting supplies, so I guess I was there briefly. But you can see here that anything on my phone and if I got notifications, those would show up as well. I could go out and I could do something like share out a YouTube video. So let's just pop into YouTube and we'll go into YouTube and look at, uh, let's say, a cool web uh, YouTube channel here. But the problem here is I will not be able to share out the audio of this video broadcast. I'll only be able to share out the visuals. I'm just sharing my screen. And right now there is no way for us to go through and share the system audio from the phone to an audience in a Teams meeting on a mobile device. Now on a Mac computer, it's tricky as well. And I did a video on sharing system audio on a Mac computer and on a 
PC, we just have that one button to click and I created a video on that as well. That's beyond the scope of this video because I've shown other videos that show how to share the audio, but that's a big no, no, well, not no, it's something we can't do here. And that is share out the iPhone system audio. So if I go into something, say, for example, like Spotify, I won't be able to share out any of this audio. So if I try to share off this, this podcast here, um, I can play it and I, I'm hearing this on my phone right now. So I can hear this on my phone, but you will not be able to hear it in the meeting. So that's, uh, that's kind of a gotcha within the, the sharing out. Now, once I'm done the sharing, I have to go back into Teams and I can click the button to stop presenting. Now, I'm no longer presenting off of my phone and I can uh, resume whatever team activities I'd like. Okay, so just to show you here on the iPad, what I'm able to do here is you can see it's the same sort of menu options, but we'll take a quick look at the iPad here. Grab it. And on the iPad, you'll notice that I still have the ellipse down here at the bottom, video, microphone, audio, raise my hand, share, together mode, and chat. So if I go into the chat, you can see I have a chat here. You can see that the meeting's in progress. I can say something like, hello, send that in. That becomes part of the chat, go back. I can go into the participants of the meeting. So I can go in and I can unmute or I can work with a participant in there. I can add a participant or a room. I can go in and I can use my sharing. Same options, share a PowerPoint, a photo, a video, or share the screen. Again, if I hit share the screen on the iPad, it would say you can't while well, you're mirroring it to your computer. If I go to the ellipse, what I'm effectively getting are the exact same options, except those options such as the chat together mode, or sorry, the chat, the participants, the um, hand raise and the share are not on here. So here you can go in and do live captionings and all of those good things as well. So you can see that the experience for Teams is still very effective and still very useful. If I'm on a mobile device like an iPad or an iOS device like an iPhone, but you're not going to have that full experience like you would have on a computer. Now, just before we go, when I showed you on the iPad, you'll notice down here I have a chat and I have the participants menu here. And you'll notice here on my phone, I don't have that. So I don't have a chat or a participants menu there. It is actually a little tricky. You have to click on your little image and then you'll notice up top here, you can see that the meeting's running, it's being recorded and there's my chat, there's my participants. So if I click on the chat there, this will bring up the chat window chat back to you and uh, so I can chat with people within the meeting and then if I go into just go back here I can also go into my participants and that's where I can go and do things I'll just move this out of the way I can mute everybody within the meeting I can uh, see uh, who's active right now you see I have Arthur here is uh, is who is there that's who I was chatting with and I can go back to chatting with Arthur Right, so I can go back to chat with him. Oh, go back here and chat with Arthur. So we're having a chat in there. Um, or I can go in and I could go back to the participants and underneath the participants, again, we could go in. You can also, if you have an, um, a Teams meeting room, which is uh, some hardware solutions that are coming out by Microsoft, you can add that room in here. Uh, that's beyond the scope here as well, but there's some, some cool hardware coming out. Hopefully I'll get a chance to play around with that and do some videos on that as well. But you can see here, we can, we can manage the participants, we can have our chat, we can have our sharing menu and everything that we will need for a pretty good Teams experience. Not gonna be quite as good as that desktop though, so I do recommend going that way. Hopefully that was useful. If it was, hit like, subscribe, share the video, and here's some other videos on my channel that you might be interested in as well.